What is the Fugitive Surrender and how exactly does it work? Fugitive Surrender is a local initiative for Cumberland County and it's being offered under Operation Ceasefire. So basically what Fugitive Surrender is, is a day set aside where law enforcement and judicial resources are in place to afford people the opportunity to come in peacefully on their own terms if they suspect they may have outstanding warrants. And what they can do on that day, number one, is go ahead and get their cases calendared for court through their bond hearings, and number two, get optimal consideration from the magistrates for low and unsecured bonds because they are taking advantage of this initiative being offered. And what are some of the locations and times uh, for, for the surrender sites? Okay, well, the, the, the Fugitive Surrender will take place on May 14th. That's a Saturday. And the unique part about our initiative is that folks can come in to the Cumberland County Jail on that day between the hours of 9 and 4 and surrender. But they can also choose one of two churches that have partnered with us as turn-in sites. Now, one of those locations is Manna Church at 5117 Cliffdale Road in Fayetteville. The other is Kingdom Impact Global Ministries, and that's at 2503 Murkison Road. Also between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m., individuals who suspect they may have some unresolved charges can come into those locations on that day, and they'll be met with an officer who can verify their warrants, and then they'll be transported to their bond hearing after that. Okay, and why is it in a fugitive, or a person who has a warrant out on them, why is it in their best interest to come out and, and do this? Well, there are a number of advantages of people with unresolved charges coming in voluntarily. The first of which is they get to plan for when they're going to come in and again do it peacefully on their own terms and schedule their calendar around what they have to get resolved. Second of all, it helps keep the community safer because the chance encounters on the street or in routine traffic stops puts law enforcement officers at risk, it puts the fugitives at risk, and it puts the community at risk because oftentimes those encounters can turn violent or some physical force has to be used to, to bring that person in because it's at a time not of their choosing. So I would say to anyone who suspects they may have outstanding warrants to come in on this day when the magistrates have already agreed to give that optimal consideration for low and unsecured bonds when it's appropriate and go ahead and get these resolved and taken care of so that they can just get back to life. And what would you say to someone who may be on the fence um, about why they should come in and, and do this? I would say that there's never a better time to come in than on May 14th. On May 14th, fugitive surrender has been set aside as a date when everything is in place. And if someone is able to come in and calendar their case for court and walk back out of the jail, it will be on that day. Now, of course, the magistrates are going to take every individual on a case-by-case -case basis, and they're going to operate within the, the full parameters of the law, and they're not going to do anything that's inappropriate but the clerk of court and the magistrate's office and our superior and district court judges are all on board with the vision of this initiative and that is to give people an opportunity to be met halfway and come in on their own terms and basically just stop running and start living and get out from under these old charges. Has this been done before? Is this the first time? In Cumberland County, it has not been done before, and we've been having a really difficult time finding anywhere this has been attempted at the local level. However, the U.S. Marshal Service has a program called Fugitive Safe Surrender, and that has been tremendously su successful. Um, they organize their event a little bit differently, and their events are usually spread out over a couple of days. We're trying this on a bit smaller scale, so we've set one day aside, and basically we're going to see how this works and hope that this initiative grows.